Why the Hungarian Rhapsody? Well, um, I thought of it as a really cool piece of music. Um, it's really fun to play and I think it's really fun to listen. And, uh, you know, uh, Popa being a composer with whom all the cellists across the world, you know, grew up with, playing his etudes mostly, um, I think it was um, a cool choice of a composer. I first start by thinking um, what they want to achieve with the piece and how, what do I want. Um, I envision the outcome of the piece first. Um, and then when I actually start practicing the piece, I try to figure out what the composer's idea might have been and be really close to that vision but of course put in my personality and my thoughts and my expression into it because that's what makes me me and my music my music so yeah that's i think broadly speaking my way I had experience with all time periods, uh, from, all the way from Baroque to the uh, 21st century, um, and enjoyed uh, a lot playing all of them. If the pieces are good, you can enjoy any kind of uh, musical period. Originality comes from from within, I think. And yes, of course, it's always great to, to have a reference um, and to listen to other great uh, musicians, but to copy, I think you're missing out on a lot of possible ideas that might come from uh, just thinking uh, of the piece in your own way. Thank you. 
the real audience is, I think, people who come to your concert and do not count the mistakes you've made, but just enjoy the music and enjoy um, the time spent there, right? Thank you.